In this video, we are going to talk about single replacement reaction. A single replacement reaction is a reaction in which one element replaces a similar element in a compound. The general form is a plus BC equals B plus AC. In this general equation, element A is a metal and replaces element B, also a metal, in the compound BC. When the element that is doing the replacing is a non-metal, it must replace another non-metal in a compound, and the general equation becomes a plus BC equals C plus BA. A is a non-metal and replaces the non-metal C in the compound BC. Single replacement reactions only occur when the element that is doing the replacing is more reactive than the element that is being replaced. Therefore, it is useful to have a list of elements in order of their relative reactivity. The activity series is a list of elements in decreasing order of their reactivity. Since metals replace other metals, while non-metals replace other non-metals, they each have a separate activity series. Now, let us first try the activity series for metals. Example, lithium reacting with sodium chloride. Then what would be the products? Since lithium is a metal element, it will replace the metal element in the compound sodium chloride, which is sodium. The question is, can lithium replace sodium? To answer that, we are going to see the activity series. By looking at the activity series, lithium is the most reactive among all elements because it is at the very top of the list. In other words, lithium can replace all of the elements below, and that how the activity series works. Elements in the top can replace all elements below it, however, elements at the bottom or below can't replace any elements above it. For the case of lithium plus sodium chloride, since lithium is more reactive than sodium, lithium can replace sodium in the compound sodium chloride. Therefore, the products would be sodium plus lithium chloride. Are you getting it? Very good. Let's have the next example. We have zinc reacted with calcium oxide. What are the products? Again, look at the activity series. Is zinc more reactive than calcium? The answer is no, because zinc is listed below calcium. Hence, there is no reaction. Just write NR. Next example we have silver and ferrous hydroxide. What are the products? The answer is no reaction. Because iron is more reactive than silver, based on the activity series. Let's proceed to the next example, and that is calcium added with beryllium nitrate. Then, look at the activity series. Is calcium more reactive than beryllium? Yes, it is. Therefore, it can replace beryllium. Hence, the products are beryllium plus calcium nitrate. Did you follow? Excellent. Now, let's have the activity series of non-metals with the general equation A plus BC equals C plus BA. Always remember, when the element that is doing the replacing is a non-metal, it must replace another non-metal in a compound. A is a non-metal and replaces the non-metal C in the compound BC. For example, Fluorine gas reacted with sodium chloride. Same, first look at the activity series. Is fluorine more reactive than chlorine? And, yes. Therefore, the products formed are chlorine gas and lithium fluoride. Next, we have bromine gas added with ferrous oxide. What are the products? And that is brilliant. The products are oxygen gas and ferrous bromide. Then, we have iodine gas plus lithium chloride. What other products will be formed? 
Again, that's very good. No reaction, because iodine gas is less reactive than chlorine, hence, it cannot replace chlorine in the compound. I guess you're very much ready. Now it's your turn. Give the products of the following reactants. Comment your answers. Thank you. Hope you learned valuable today. Kindly like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for you to be updated with our next video tutorial in chemistry.